I'm Army Sergeant Wayne Swear. I was hurt in Afghanistan, the Nangarhar province, and I stepped on an IED and lost my left leg above the knee. Severe damage to the right leg, resulting in it being a limb salvage. My left arm took massive amounts of shrapnel, resulting in left ulnar neuropathy and perforated eardrum. Just wanted to serve since I was a little kid. Uh, I remember watching Tour of Duty with my dad, you know, back in the 80s, and uh, I decided back in 88, you know, just being a wee little kid, you know, and I, I knew that's what I wanted to do. I absolutely loved my job specifically, um, and then the guys I was with. Uh, we're out that day conducting foot patrols and uh, KLE is engaging with the local populace and I uh, stepped on uh, 70 pounds of fertilizer bomb. Uh, it was an IED in place in the road, uh, underneath the road and stepped directly on it, uh, resulting in a blast. Uh, I was medevaced from the battlefield to Jalalabad, from Jalalabad to Bagram, and then from Bagram uh, I was sent to Germany, and then from Germany I ended up in Walter Reed ultimately. I was uh, in the hospital for a little over three months. I uh, did physical therapy and rehabbed for in excess of seven months. I was medically discharged January 8, 2012 and went back home to Rapid City, South Dakota. I live in South Dakota. There's a lot of ice there. I have steps everywhere. There's steps going in every entry of my home and it's not exactly the best friend of an amputee. Steps and ice together is uh, pretty rough. I have not been able to utilize a wheelchair in almost three years. It will not fit down any of the hallways. Um, the only place it'll fit is in the living room. I have a shower I kind of cram into. It's really small. Um, it, it, it's not accommodating at all. It, it's definitely a challenge. Uh, I've had several accidents in the home that I currently reside. Um, I've fallen down the stairs on multiple occasions carrying laundry up or down from the laundry room kind of hurts. I kind of cried, need a band-aid. Um, <laughs> it's kind of scary. Um, it's definitely not accommodating at all. There's nothing about my home that, that's ADA compliant or fits me at all or my needs. I'm still at a complete loss for words for what you guys at Homes for Our Troops are, are providing for service men and women alike. Um, it, it feels absolutely so surreal and I'm just overwhelmed by the, the support the, the compassion that you guys have displayed, it's very overwhelming. With my new home, I'm looking forward to all around freedom. Uh, freedom to live, freedom to actually live within a home. I, I can utilize a wheelchair. Being able to actually have a shower that I can transition into is, it would be nice. I've not been able to have that again in almost three years. If I can do my daily activities, I can just move freely. Through Homes for Our Troops, having a mortgage-free home will free up my finances to actually start my motorcycle business. Myself and my good buddy Matt Hembry are embarking on a, uh, a unique journey and business venture uh, where we will be starting Leg Up Customs, the first American motorcycle shop building true custom motorcycles to fit the needs of the disabled rider that needs it. Guys, I, I saw the, uh, the struggles that I obviously was going through trying to get back up on two wheels. It was my passion, it was my hobby, it was my true love in life. And um, there's really nothing out there to accommodate disabled riders at all. Until now. With riding, there's no limitations. Um, I ride harder and faster than most people with two legs. Is the one time I don't feel limited by a mobility issue. In five years, I see myself uh, standing alongside my good uh, brother-in-arm, uh, Matt Hambry, uh, with a big smiles on our faces, running our motorcycle shop and giving back to uh, disabled riders and getting, giving them the option to get out there and enjoy two wheels. Homes for Our Troops is an absolute godsend uh, for, for, for injured service, men and women alike. They provide something that's out there. It's just, it's unprecedented. It, it's breathtaking, to say the least. I can't even think of words at all to, like I said, I'm still absolutely shocked. I, I don't know. 